Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am Nick, and today we will be reviewing this Jurassic World Dominion Dimetrodon. Let's start. And we're in. Today I'm going to be reviewing this Extreme Damage Dimetrodon from Jurassic World Dominion Toy Line. Jurassic World Dominion is a Driscoll movie that has not been released yet. It's going to be released on the 22nd of June. I'm not advertising it, I'm just telling you. And basically, I found out that a store called Hamley's in Dubai, it basically sells Jurassic World Dominion toys. They delivered it very early. I don't think they should be selling them right now, but they got a huge assortment. The photo will be shown right here. And basically they have different types of like Velociraptors, like they're all extreme damage, but they have Velociraptors, Celeruses, and Dimetrodons like this one. And yeah, that's all I wanted to say. So let's check out the box first. So it says Dress Squirrel Dominion here, Dimetrodon, extreme damage. And right here we can see the action feature, a nice print of T-Rex the scan code app scan to unlock that's a new type of code i don't i don't know if they're going to be making a new app for it but it's i think it's still going to be jurassic world facts app on the back of the box we have other figures like the Celerus and the velociraptor i'll be getting these two very soon and reviewing them i'm actually planning to get them and review them and i'm definitely going to do that and here we have another the Metrodon picture with the action feature and another picture of an action feature and uh, the Metrodon in different languages. Another extreme damage and another Jurassic World logo. Let's go ahead and open this. Here are my skissers. And right now we're gonna cut these plastic rope thingies that hold in the figure flip. Here we go. And the figure is free from the box. Right here we can see some articulation already in the legs. The front paws can move like that, front, front and back, and move like sideways. I don't know how to call that, but they can do this type of movement. The back legs can only move back and front. And the head nope yeah the head should be should yeah the head can move wow i didn't know the head can move and it can move back and forward like this and the mouth can open and close can the tail move no the tail cannot move it is glued very tightly it can move i think that's all for the articulation in this figure this figure is actually pretty nice and for the action feature we have this fin on the back the orange one not not the not the full one that's what i'm trying to say i mean only this part of the fin you press it and the wound switches from skin yeah the skin switches to wound and it's actually pretty cool i like it because i already have a t-rex with such an action feature don't mind, that's my cat. Or, uh, yeah. And I have a T-Rex with this action feature already. And basically, yeah. And let's see the code thingy for the DinoFact app. Here it is. Before, they usually had it printed on the leg right here. But now they implanted it in the skin or in the fin is with this one. So you can open it up and just scan the code. Sorry guys, had camera problems. So basically, yeah, where was it? Yeah, that basically, I don't know if opening this fin like or like adding a dino scan code in the skin would be such a good idea, like because it's gonna look weird. It's gonna look like another wound and it's gonna look weird if you take it out. Because before it was on the leg, it was barely noticeable. Now, if you accidentally take it out, then it'll be very noticeable. But but how can you accidentally take it out? I don't know. Let's put this back in. Let's look at the paint job now. The paint job is green. It's mo the body's mostly green, with black run along the back and black around the eye, or like dark gray. 
and there's also some dark gray and black on the fin but the fin itself is like orangey and red because the camera makes it look more orange while I see it as more reddish radish <laughs> and basically yeah the paint job is pretty good I think yeah it actually fits for a dimetrodon this is actually the paint job I really wanted for a dimetrodon because before Mattel used to have like more gray dimetrodons and I like this one even more and I like this one even more because of the action feature because I really like battle damage and extreme damage action figures. Let's compare this Dimetrodon figure with some other figures from this line. Here it is with the Claire Fallen Kingdom figure from Mattel. Here it is with the blue figure from Mattel, the attack pack one. And here it is with a Savage Strike model of source. And the last size comparison is with this Extreme Damage T-Rex. One of my favorite figures, actually. It also has an Extreme Damage action feature, as you can see. And yeah, this is my favorite figure. I couldn't go without comparing it with this one because they're both Extreme Damage. Because, yeah, here is the size with the Dimetrodon. So, it's good. It's good. The scale is actually pretty good. So, about the rating for this figure. I think it's going to be an 8.5 out of 10. The figure is actually pretty good, and actually it is very good. I like this figure a lot, but the only thing I don't really like is this thing. Because it looks... it sticks out like a sore thumb if you take it out. It looks weird. But... With the rest of it, I actually like the figure a lot. It's very cool, very poseable, a lot of points of articulation. You can twist and turn it however you like, and the figure is cool. So, thanks for watching this video. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.